In this video, we'll take a look at the WordPress dashboard, which provides access to all the site management tools for your WordPress powered website. To access the WordPress dashboard and begin managing your content, click the login link on your site's homepage. Or if your site doesn't have a login link, you can simply type wp-admin at the end of your website's URL to pull up the login screen. Enter your username and password, and then click the login button. The dashboard is the first screen you'll see when you've successfully logged into WordPress. Each screen in the administration area contains three sections, a toolbar across the top of the page, the main navigation menu on the left-hand side, and the main work area. The first time you log into your WordPress dashboard, you'll be greeted with a simple collection of links to help you get started, including shortcuts to customize your site's theme, begin creating and editing your content, or manage your widgets and menus. When you're comfortable with the dashboard, you can dismiss this welcome module. At the top of the dashboard is the toolbar, which contains links to the most commonly used administrative functions, including links to find more information about WordPress, documentation, and the support forums if you need help. The toolbar also contains quick links to create new posts, upload media, add new pages and users, and review comments, as well as alert you to any pending updates to plugins or themes on your site. Hovering over your site name will enable you to switch to the public view of your site, and when you are logged in, the toolbar remains across the top of the page while you browse your site, enabling you to quickly edit a specific page or create new content for your site. Hover over the site name again to return to the dashboard or any other panel in the administration area. On the far right of the toolbar, you'll find links to edit your profile and log out. It's a good idea to visit your profile right away and set up your personal preferences, complete your contact information and bio, and select a strong password. To return to the dashboard at any time, simply click the Dashboard link at the top of the main navigation menu. Just below your username in the toolbar are two hanging tabs, Screen Options and Help which expand when clicked to provide additional options or contextual help specific to whatever page or panel you're currently on. In the screen options, you can choose which dashboard boxes are displayed and how many columns are used to display the boxes. You can completely hide boxes that you don't plan to use by simply unchecking the box next to the module's name. You can return at any time and re-enable these. You can also choose to display modules in one, two, three, or four columns. On the left-hand side of the screen is the main navigation menu, which contains links to all the administration screens in WordPress. Hovering over a menu item displays the sub-menu, revealing additional functions or options that are available. If you need more screen space, you can minimize the entire menu into just a strip of icons by clicking the Collapse Menu link at the bottom. When the menu is minimized like this, you can still access each submenu by simply hovering over the icon for each item. It's also easy to rearrange the boxes on the dashboard. If you hover your mouse over the title bar of a box, you'll notice that your cursor changes, letting you know that that box is movable. Click and then drag the box to a new location on the page. Release your mouse button when you see a dotted gray outline in the location where you want to place the box. This enables you to completely personalize your dashboard so that it works best for you. The boxes can also be collapsed or expanded by clicking anywhere in the title bar itself or by clicking the arrow to the far right. In addition, some boxes have configurable options that can be customized by clicking the Configure link in the title bar. So let's take a look at the individual boxes on the dashboard screen. The Right Now module provides a summary view of your blog statistics and identifies which theme and version of WordPress you're currently using. As you can probably guess, the next module displays the most recent comments on your blog posts and allows you to moderate them by simply hovering your mouse over an individual comment. You can approve, reply to, edit, mark as spam, or delete a comment directly from this box. 
Recent drafts displays links to the five most recent draft posts or articles that you've started. And incoming links provides a handy list of other websites that are linking to your site. RSS feeds from the WordPress blog and other WordPress news are displayed at the bottom, along with a list of the newest and most popular plugins. You can configure these RSS boxes to display the most recent news and articles from a different RSS feed if you like. One of the most useful boxes on the dashboard is called QuickPress, and it enables you to quickly create a new post directly from the dashboard. Simply enter a title and then add some content to easily create a new blog post or article for your site. You can even upload and insert images, videos, or other files. And you can add tags, which function like keywords, making it easy for your readers to find related articles on your site that contain the same keywords or tags. Click the Publish button to save your new post and publish it to your blog. And now, a quick visit to the homepage of our site will show that our new post has been published. Now that you're familiar with the dashboard, let's move on to the next video where we'll talk about other ways to add and edit posts.